Okay, here's a th here's a part I messed up on before, and I still don't know if I'm gonna be doing this right. But we're gonna find out together. All right, here's the blood. All right, so let's open this thing and see what we have. I'm expecting a jelly consistency. Yep, uh, this blood is jelly. So, like I said, fresh blood will be more liquid. Like, when I pour this out, you see that blood there? But that's not what we're getting. We're, instead, we're getting a big glob of jelly, and I need to get this out of here. Because we can't work with it otherwise. So, right now, our blood looks very gelatinous. Not like the liquefied blood you would expect at all. But this is what we have to work with. Apparently I'm supposed to use a fourth cup of water. So we're going to start with that and see how that goes. Because I do not actually know how this is going to work. What I should have done was add water to this apparently. I'm going to roll up my sleeves with this one because I don't want my lab coat to get dirty. But right now, we're just trying to liquefy this blood. So what I need to do is mas massage this blood into the water to liquefy it. Apparently, you can use a blender to do this. I have a blender. I want to see if we can do this manually. It feels weird. It feels like jelly. It feels like a red jelly, but... And it looks like jelly. But... It is 100% blood. I think I might actually get the food processor for this one, because I don't think I can make this smaller just by crushing it. Ah, jeez. It doesn't feel different. It just feels like jello, to be honest. Um, it's just very red. Very red jello. That's right, guys. It's just jello. It's not blood. I can't crush that any more than I already have. That is going to go into the blender. Alright, let me see if this is going to fit. Okay, that works. I'm also going to add a scoop of sugar in there because apparently sugar is going to be part of the recipe. Just this much sugar. It's a lot, but you know. I think that'll be fine once it's mixed in. I'm gonna have to clean that later. All right, how liquid are you? Oh, it's foaming. Are there any noticeable blood chunks here? I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. I probably should strain this actually before using it. Uh, just to get rid of some of the bigger chunks of blood because we don't want any chunks of blood in the dish once we're done with it. So it's very liquid right now, which is a good sign. It's a bit foamy probably because of the sugar added in there and then the food process processing that I did. I... Change the camera angle on you guys, but I don't think it's really easy to do that. So I'm just straining this as best as I can without getting my countertops too bloody. It is a very nice red color. It's a very nice red color. If you look here though, we ha still have a bunch of junk in the... I'm uh, in the strainer. I don't know if I can really... Press too much of that stuff down. I'm just going to try to squeeze as much as I can out. Alright, I think our blood is ready. I'm going to add that little by little now. Let's add just this much. Mix it in. Probably sh can see we're getting a nice dark color that's the blood cooking all right rice is done I'm just gonna cut this down a bit so that we can get a good picture on the camera 
All right. Good thing is there are no offals here, so this will look fairly normal minus the really, really dark sauce. Anyway, looks like these are onions here. Did I, did I actually have any blood chunks? No, that's onion. Yeah, that's onion. Okay, let's taste the broth first really quick. I want to see how that how that tastes like. Itadakimasu, and you guys also. Oh, wow. That is actually really good. Um, it's a lot, it's very smooth because of what we did to the blood. It's not gelled, congealed, blood, ch blunts of ch uh, chunks of blood. It does have a little bit of irony flavor to it but it's not very strong because of all the other stuff we added into here the garlic and the vinegar particularly because they're very strong flavors they kind of mask that iron taste from the blood and actually makes it i don't want to say it tastes chocolatey uh <clears throat> but definitely it has a chocolate texture but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that also, for any, for any new viewers out there, uh, whether you're watching from the archives or watching live, please, if you like this, please consider subscribing. Please consider subscribing, hit that like button, notification bell, all that YouTube stuff. Thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. I'm going to be working hard on trying to get the Discord server up so that we can all be in one spot even after stream is done and chat there. Bye bye.